Hi, boys and girls. We've got a couple more chapters of Wedgie and Gizmo. And if you remember from where we left off, um, Wedgie is the one that is not happy about Pinky joining their street. And Gizmo is the one that he's really excited. He really likes Pinky. All right, chapter seven is starts with Gizmo. Dear reader, I am pleased to report the evening has fallen. Cavies are not nocturnal by nature, but I love the late hours. I am currently in the television watching room with Elliot and the elderly one. Thorgy is lying on the carpet, disturbing us with his snoring. Elliot has placed fresh greens on a plate for me. I nibble and watch a show called Wheel of Fortune. It is an interesting show. If the humans solve the puzzle, they are rewarded with treasures. They should invite me to be a contestant. The ratings would go through the roof. The current puzzle is... There you go. Can you solve that? Hmm. Well, let's see if Gizmo can. How easy, yet the humans on the show are confused. They lack my genius brain. By an E, I squeak. The elderly one pats my head. Abuela. Smart KV. The elderly one comes from Peru, the country of the Andes Mountains, where KVs roam free. It is also the place where humans eat cavies. I used to worry that the elderly one would put me into her stew pot, but I have learned that she is a vegetarian, like me. While I, when I rule the world, it will be against the law to eat cavies. Anyone who tries to eat a cavy will feel my wrath. I munch on a sprig of parsley and glance over my shoulder. I need to use the computer in order to order my drone of destiny. But at the moment, the computer is being used by Jasmine. She is watching canine videos. One canine rolls himself up in a blanket. Another rides a scooter. Another pushes a shopping cart. These simple-minded beasts seem happy doing tricks for humans. Never will I do such things. Gizmo the evil genius does tricks for no one. Jasmine. Look, Elliot, this dog's dancing. What a great trick. Do you think I should teach Wedgie to dance? Elliot. I think you should teach him to fly. You know, because he's got that superhero cape. Jasmine, I'm serious. He needs to learn something amazing to win best trick at, pet, at the pet parade. Can you help me? Elliot, I've got other stuff to do. Besides, I don't care about the pet parade. Jasmine, but I need your help. You're supposed to be my brother. Come on, Wedgie. Let's go to my room and practice. What's this? Thorgy stops snoring and jumps to his paws. He follows Jasmine out of the room. What perfect timing. The computer is mine. I jump off the couch, waddle across the carpet, then I jump onto a chair, jump onto a table, scurry across the table, leap onto a stool, then jump onto the computer desk. I sit before the vast screen. Unfortunately, typing is not easy for cavies. The keyboard is not made for a little pause. I stretch my arms towards the G and type gadgets and gizmos. I have to be careful that my tummy does not hit the space bar. I mastered the art of typing long ago when I lived at Swampy's pet shop. At night, after the shop closed, I would sit at Mrs. Swampy's desk and write letters to, ed to the editor of the local newspaper. <clears throat> so, a lot of these say, Dear Editor, why are there no um, stories in your newspaper about cavies? I think your readers would want to know about these cavies, um, for they're the most interesting animals in the world. I demand that you include more cavey news in future editions. Dear editor, I read your article titled German Shepherd Helps the Police and I do not approve. Why should we waste our time reading about canines? They are drooling beasts and of lowly intelligence. I demand that you stop writing about them. Dear editor, once again, there is no cavy news in your paper. Therefore, in protest, I will not read any more issues. But I will continue to use your newspaper to line my cage and collect my droppings. For that is all it is good for. Dear editor, you shall feel my wrath. So, Gizmo did not like that newspaper. After a bit more typing, the drone appears on the screen. How lovely it is. Once again, I imagine myself soaring across the sky, delivering my flyers for all cavies to read. Mom. Why is Gizmo tapping on the keyboard? Abuela, he's ordering something. Dad, <laughs> guinea pigs can't type. You have a very good sense of humor, Abuela. <laughs> Mom, Elliot, please get your pet off the keyboard. He might go to the bathroom on it. Dad, and I think you should go check on your sister. You might have hurt her feelings. Elliot, 
I don't understand why winning a pet parade is so important to her. It's a dumb contest. I'm about to click buy this item when Elliot picks me up. I wiggle. I squirm. Put me down, I command. But he continues to carry me away from the computer. Oh, what a dreadful turn of events. He is carrying me into Jasmine's room. I cringe. She will cover me in kisses. Oh, poor Gizmo. He came so close, but once again, his evil plans were ruined. Hi, Jasmine. How's it going with Wedgie? Jasmine. I'm trying to teach him to dance, but he's not doing anything. Elliot. Maybe try something easier? Jasmine. But easy won't win. Come on, Wedgie, dance. We only have six days to learn. What is happening in here? This girl is shouting commands at the canine. The canine is ignoring her and chewing on a sock. When I rule the world, no canine would dare ignore me. All dogs will serve me. Should I need holes? They will dig them. Should I need to travel across snow? They will pull my sled. And should my human servants need exercise? The dogs will take them for walks. Oh, what a glorious time it will be. I peer over Elliot's fingers and glare at Thorgy. He's tearing the sock to shreds. Then he looks up and smiles at me. I narrow my eyes. He knows that my computer time was interrupted. This was part of his plan. He wants to stop me from ordering my drone of destiny. You will not stop me, I squeak. Thorgy is my arch enemy and he must go once and for all. I shall rid of him first thing tomorrow after my mid-morning nap. All right, Barney, are you ready for the chapter from Wedgie? He's over here chewing on his own toy. It's not a sock, but he's got a toy. All right, here we go. Hey, I just heard one of my favorite words, beach. I'm so happy, I love going to the beach. Dad lifts me into the car. I sit on Jasmine's lap. I stick my head out of the window. The wind blows on my face. We pass the grocery store. We pass the post office. We pass the park. But we don't stop at those places because we are going to the beach. Jasmine, Wedgie, get off my lap. I'm mad at you. Dad, why are you mad at Wedgie? Jasmine, he won't learn a trick. Jackson, ew, Wedgie stinks. Mom, he's been rolling in something. Ugh, why does he do that, said Elliot. Mom, dogs roll in things because they like to stink. In the wild, they cover their own scent to protect themselves. Somebody rolled in the mud yesterday, so I agree. I think that that's very true. Elliot, yeah, but Wedgie doesn't live in the wild. He lives in a cul-de-sac. Why is Jasmine sad? Why doesn't she pet me? Why didn't she call me a, why didn't she call me bad dog? But she pushed me away. What's the matter? How come she doesn't want to pet me? We're at the beach. Dad opens the door. I jump out before he can stop me. I run in circles, round and round. Let's go people. Let's go to the beach. Hey, Emily and Funny Dog are here. Wow, what a great day. Emily's wearing her water suit and Funny Dog's wearing her funny hat. I smell Funny Dog all over. I really love her. <clears throat> I run around Funny Dog. I don't need my leash at the beach. Come on, let's go play in the sand. There are dogs everywhere. There's a fluffy dog. There's a spotted dog. There's a black and white dog. We chase a ball. We chase a crab. We get our paws wet. We dig in the sand. Funny Dog buries her funny hat in the sand. How fun. I love to bury things. But why is she tugging on my cape with her big tooth? She tugs and tugs. Does she want to play? Funny Dog is my best friend. Oh, so Wedgie seems to like her now. I find a stinky clam and I roll on it. Now we're going to the snack shack. Elliot gets ice cream. Jasmine and Emily get ice cream. Jackson gets ice cream, so I sit close to him. What does Wedgie do every time Jackson has something yummy? He steals it. I watch the ice cream drip down Jackson's arm. I lick his arm. It tastes great. If I use my superpower of staring, Jackson will drop his ice cream cone. I stare and stare and stare. I stare some more. I wait. I wag. I want that ice cream so bad. I stare and he drops it. I eat the ice cream cone as fast as I can. It's crunchy from the sand. I love crunchy. Hey, why is everyone watching Funny Dog? Jackson, look, Pinky the Tooth can dance. Jasmine, so it's a new trick. Oh, I'm sorry, Emily. It's a new trick I taught her last night. Isn't she a good dancer? Jasmine, uh, yeah, she sure is. Emily, maybe this will be her trick for the pet parade. Jasmine, yeah, maybe. Elliot. Looks like Pinky lost her crown. Emily. That's okay. I have a whole box of crowns back home. Hey, everyone. Stop looking at Funny Dog and look at me. I'm here. Here I am. See me? I'm chasing birds. Look at all those birds. So over here, we've got Pinky the Tooth. 
Dancing Away, and then Wedgie's Chasing Birds. I've never seen so many birds. They've got little stick legs and they're running across the sand. They're running in different directions. They don't know which way to go. Silly birds, I better help them with my superpowers of herding. I run around and around the birds. Look at me herd. The birds are trying to escape, but I round them up. Now the birds are all going in the same direction. Man, hey, that dog's kicking sand all over my towel. Kid, the dog's trying to eat those birds. Lady, stop that dog. Jasmine, Wedgie, come here. I prance back toward Jasmine. My cape flaps in the breeze. She'll be so proud of me. Super Wedgie to the rescue. Jasmine puts on my leash and starts pulling me away from the beach. I don't want to leave the beach. I want to eat more ice cream and chase more birds. I want to play with Funny Dog. But Jasmine whispers in my ear, Emily copied our dancing trick, but we'll show her. We'll learn something better. Right, Wedgie? Jasmine looks into my eyes. She smiles at me. She's happy because I helped those birds with my superpower. She knows that Super Wedgie will always help. I lick her face. I love Jasmine. Is that really why Jasmine's happy? All right, you ready to say bye, Barney? You say bye, bye? No, you're too busy playing with your ball that you've torn up. <laughs> bye guys, see you Wednesday. Anyone who tries to eat a cavey will feel my wrath. I munch on a sprig. <laughs> this is my life. <laughs>